Hi there. Yeah, not a vinyl update, but a book update. Um, I just want to say hi, Conrad, if you're watching. Conrad is a booktuber now. And I'm not going to become a booktuber. I just love doing book updates. Um, so I'm going to continue that. I kind of said I would. Don't, didn't know what way I would do it. Just do it this way for now. Um, not going to get a lot of views from this, but who cares? Silly books, classic books, um, difficult books. I got everything here. I got you're our kind of dog, Snoopy. <laughs> I love these. You know, Snoopy books or uh, Charlie Brown books. So I have that one. I picked up. We're all in this together. That's nothing too special. So the real books. Well, that's real. But this is a classic. Uh, by Homer, the Iliad. It's um, a companion piece, I could call it, to the Odyssey that Homer wrote. And uh, I am so interested in Greek mythology. Always have been, but never picked it up. Now I have it. Um, the Ipcris file by Len Dayton. Um, a uh, spy thriller that is tur was turned into into a movie in the sixties. Um, don't know much about the book and, and have not seen the movie in years, so I don't really know what this is about. But I'm always interested in in crime and spy novels, so really like that. This was a great find. Not too long ago I saw a video online on YouTube where they were talking about cult novels. This was mentioned. and um, I do have another book by this writer, but never read any of his stuff. This is Thomas Pynchon's The Crying of Lot 49. The cover is groovy. It's really amazing. Uh, I don't know what this is about. I never really read on the back what it's about. I just grab a book, read it, and see if I enjoy it. But this is pretty cool. Also picked up Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Creepy cover. This is from the 80s, this edition. But yeah, this is truly a, a classic. Uh, novel. Picked up three books by Stephen King, The Green Mile, with a horrible prize sticker on the back which I can't get off, but this is in really really good condition. Um, I only pick up his books if they're in really good condition, so glad I picked this up. Also picked up Eyes of the Dragon by Stephen King, which I know nothing about. Green Mile I know because I've seen the movie, but I know nothing about The Eyes of the Dragon. It's a fantasy tale with dragons and knights and kings and could be interesting. Also picked up this wonderfully uh, wonderful looking edition of Salem's Lot. Uh, I have the stand in a similar edition, um, the green cover with the black um, image on front. Really, really cool. Uh, this has got alternate scenes and a different ending, I guess. I have no clue, but yeah, Salem's Lot. Also picked up The Hobbit by Tolkien. I have Lord of the Rings. Now I have The Hobbit. Um, this is a really old, really old edition. It's from the 70s, but it's like uh, 
lots of stuff is underlined in here. I can't show it because it doesn't really show on camera, but yeah, it's a pretty used copy, but not really, really that bad. Um, cover is drawn by Tolkien, by the way. So that's cool. Picked up this graphic novel, Death at Death, Death's Door. Uh, it's in the manga style. If I can show that. Yeah, I can. But it's drawn by an American artist called Jill uh, Jill Thompson. She does a really good job. But unlike the Japanese versions where you read from back to front, this is just a normal Western style reading. You start at the front and then move to the back, obviously. But yeah, this looks interesting. I saw it, it was a buck fifty or one euro fifty, and I had to pick it up. Um, big fan of Nick Hornby, uh, who wrote High Fidelity. This is Fever Pitch, a book, uh, what we Europeans call football, what you Americans call soccer. It's about that, kind of, but just added so much around uh, the sports. Not a big fan of soccer, but I love Nick Hornby's style. Also picked up a very spiritual book, the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Um, this is a edition from, I think, also the 70s. I've seen other editions as well. Um, yeah, 1977. Um, really intrigued by this book. It's been I've, I've seen it mentioned before in other books and referenced. So psyched to have a copy of this. And I've grown to become a big admirer of Don Delilo. So when I saw White Noise, I had to pick it up. Um, I don't know really what it's about, but it's just an odd little book. Um, but yeah, interested in his writing. Also picked up his um, book, The Body Artist, which is a really tiny novel. Um, but yeah, another interesting writer. To follow. Um, two more and I'm done. This is a Dutch edition of a French writer's book. Michel Hulbeck. Um, I totally forgot the, um, or the English language uh, what the title was. But the original French one was called Le Particule Elementaire. And I'm going to look right now, quickly, uh, da, 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 what his book was called. I'm nearly there. Take, take your time. No, that's not it. Okay. It is called in English atomized. So your English title is atomized. It's a controversial novel. Um, the writer is very controversial as well. That's oop, where are you? Yeah, there you are. That's him. Bottom of the book. But I never seen this book, and I really like this edition. It's a hardback, but. It doesn't have a dust jacket. And I'm not gonna pronounce the Dutch title because not a lot of people care about it, probably. And the last book I picked up is Past Tense by Jean Cocteau. It's his uh, second volume of his diaries. Um, and that's what it is it's his diary. Pretty uh, thick. Never ever seen the first volume, 
So I don't know when I'm going to read this. Hopefully, if I ever find first uh, the first volume, I I really adore uh, Jean Cocteau's work. Um, Jean Cocteau is a um, artist, poet, uh, filmmaker, writer, playwright. He does everything. Um, classic French uh, artist. And if you want to see his work, his movies, check out Beauty and the Beast that he did in 1946, I believe, which is a truly poetic, beautiful, surreal masterpiece. Uh, yeah. So I'll pick that up as well. That's my book update. Had to had to shoot this video because the uh, books that I've picked up they they it, it became kind of crazy so I had to get rid of it um, or not rid of them you know I had to do this video before I I oh, you know what I'm talking about it's 11 minutes so I'm gonna cut it off here um, talk to you later you know leave some comments and uh, I'm really interested in seeing what you guys read so show me some books. Cheers.